What's up guys, Leaf right here, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be discussing my first impressions with this guy, the M2 MacBook Air, so make sure you guys stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Alright guys, welcome back, so like I said earlier, we're going to be discussing my first impressions of this M2 MacBook Air, and overall my first impressions of the thing have been good so far. Um, I've only had it for seven days now, so it's very early in uh, the process, but overall so far, so good. Um, I haven't done a lot on it as far as, you know, really, really testing it. I know this, notice the benchmarks are definitely a little bit higher than the M1 MacBook Pro that I have, but benchmarks are, I don't know, I don't put a lot of stock into those like some people do, but it, do, it does have a little bit higher benchmarks compared to the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro that I have. Now the model I got is the base model, the eight gigabytes of RAM and the 256 gigabytes of storage. So I got the base model, it was under a thousand bucks. So that was one of the main reasons I got it, just the price. I thought about one of the M1 Pro 14 inches, but still just too rich for my blood right now. I just feel like that's more than what I need at this particular time. And the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro was definitely working for me. This so far is gonna work for me just the same, if not better. So what I've done on this thing so far, I've done, you know, just little tests, you know, shot uh, 4K clips on my Canon EOS R6, uh, the 10, 10 bit C log, put a color grade on it, put a few more effects on it, stacked four clips on top of each other. And it was able to play through and scrub through those clips just fine when I went above that that's when it started bogging down. With my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, I couldn't get to four quite, well I could, but it, there was a lot more stuttering, drop frames. It was having a little more trouble compared to the M2. So it does have a little bit more, more oomph when it comes to the video editing than my 13 inch. So I think I will see some benefit there. But overall, just, it's not the same jump that the M1 was when it came from Intel compared to the M1 going to M2. The jump just isn't isn't as substantial from what I've noticed so far. But overall, I am enjoying the upgrade. Now, what are the things I like about it? One, the design. I Don't get me wrong, I love the design of my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, but I really love this design. I didn't, wasn't crazy about the new MacBook Pros when they came out just because I, I don't know, I just, I, they just didn't look good to me. Even though this is basically the same design, it is thinner and that just makes it look sleeker. It just looks better. I, I, I love the look, the design, how it feels, how light it is. It feels so much lighter than my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. So I definitely love that. The portability of this thing is great. I've taken it with me a few different times to places when I've been out and, the, out and about. And it's, it's very portable. Doesn't feel like a burden when I'm carrying this thing around. So that is definitely something that I love about this thing. So second thing that I like about it is the trackpad is the same size as my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. So, and I love the size of that thing. So I'm glad they didn't make this thing smaller. Uh, the third thing that I like, and I didn't think I would like it, is the MagSafe. I actually do like MagSafe. I, I was kind of like, eh, it ain't that big of a deal. I don't even use it on my iPhone. Well, I don't really care about that. But overall, I actually am liking it. You know, I, I won to trip over cords, so um, I kind of already have done that once with this, and this thing didn't come tumbling to the ground, so that is a good thing. Fourth thing that I like about it, I like the display. I like the more modern look. People are like, oh, well, it says notch. You know what? I've, I've had iPhones now for a little bit now. The notch kind of just disappears to me. Other people won't, might not believe that, but it really does. So the notch is not a big deal. The overall display, I, the look, the mo how modern it looks, you know, it looks good and I like how it just kind of coincides with Apple's lineup when it comes to their iPhones and their iPads now so it all kind of matches together now now some things that I don't like about this thing I still don't like the ports I wish we had more ports on this thing I wish they would at the very least I know you're not gonna get the same thing that they got on the MacBook Pros but I would have liked maybe an SD card or put like a lot of people said put one of these USB type C's on each side, you know, so, something just to make it a little bit better, I guess. Uh, that's one thing I wish it was just, you know, like I said, at the very least, maybe an SD card slot, that'd been great. So, but that, I'm not very thrilled about that, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, number two, I just said the display that I liked, but also um, display is another thing that I'm gonna talk about that I, I'm glad they gave it a little bit, they brought it up to the 13 inch MacBook Pro brightness to 500 nits. I would have liked to see 
go away from the LCD and maybe start implementing more of the uh, mini LEDs into most into their laptop lineup. I know they're trying to keep that more a pro feature, but I don't know. I would like to see them, you know, start putting down their lower end models like the MacBook Air, the 13 inch MacBook Pro. That'd be kind of, you know, a nice little perk you put on there. You don't have to give us the 120 hertz refresh. You can save that to your, you know, upper echelon pro models, but, you know, you're starting to do with the iPhones, giving us all the, you know, XDR displays on, you know, the base models along with the pro models. I feel like that's something they should have done with the laptops as well, but on my call so it is what it is and lastly the last thing i'll say i don't want to say that it's a bad thing or it's a good thing it doesn't have a touch bar and I, you know the touch bar got a lot of hate on the internet i for one i actually like the touch bar so i do kind of miss that's not on here but it is i will agree with everyone it is nice having physical function keys but i also did enjoy the touch bar so I, I don't care that they didn't put on there, but it wouldn't have hurt my feelings if they did. I guess if that makes sense to you guys. Makes sense to me, but I don't know if it makes sense to you. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Touch bar, no touch bar, what do you think? So overall, those are my likes and dislikes with this thing so far seven days in. Um, could definitely keep you guys posted, do a more longer term review as I get going with this thing. I'll kind of let you guys know what I think around that time. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found some use out of it. If there's anything you guys wanna see, like I always say, leave a comment, let me know, and I will see you guys at the next video. Have a good one.